Good morning everyone and welcome to the Isle of Arran. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning now, got up really early, got the first ferry across and I've been here for about an hour and it hasn't disappointed. So, so far this morning I've seen a pod of dolphins, I've seen a male hen harrier flying over the, uh, the grasses hunting, um, a large male red stag on the beach and there are deer roaring everywhere in the hills. So, yep, what a fantastic morning so far. And in the first hour, full of wildlife. Um, the castle behind me, this is Locranza Castle. Um, used to be a, some form of a house in the 1500s. Can't remember the actual name of it. I'll, if I remember, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, but since then, it's obviously gone into disrepair. But this is Locranza, beautiful place here. Um, the weather's fair and the roaring of the uh, the red deer is just, just fantastic. So I'm hoping to get some really good pictures um, of the red deer. Hopefully, fingers crossed, at least a pair rutting would be fantastic to capture. Um, but no, this place is absolutely teeming with wildlife. I'm um, going to do the shorebirds, seabirds, seals, um, hopefully um, be able to come across one or two otters. I did so um, last time I was here. I've been here, this is my fourth time here to the Isle of Arran now. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna pack this camera up, get in the car and uh, start looking for some wildlife. So follow me on this trip over five days here on Wild Arran. So this video is sponsored by Existen and their portable SSD Explorer hard drive. But more on them later on. Well, it's been a fantastic morning so far this morning. Um, seen a lot of wildlife. And anyway, I'm just gonna light my stove, have a brew. Yeah, so um, just been driving along and lo and behold, saw a otter just swimming along the shoreline. So I managed to find a parking spot, stopped, um, took a walk up and just watched the otter swimming around in the water. And then it caught a big flatfish, must have been about that big, and started swimming straight towards me with it. And it's had its head out of the water. So I couldn't move out the way um, and try and get in a better position to photograph the otter. It was just, it was coming straight for me with this big fish in its mouth. Um, so I just kept absolutely still. Um, and then at the last moment it sort of turned off a little bit and then came up the shore with this big fish and obviously took it into its nest. So it must have some young in a nest just along here on the shoreline, which is really, really good. So. That's an opportunity and a location. I now know where the otter is more than likely is going to be um, bringing in food for its young. 
turn that down a little bit. Um, so yeah, so um, it's gone in its nest. Um, lots of seals taking rest on the rocks, not taking any photos of them yet. Um, it just stopped for a cup of coffee, and if you're gonna have a coffee, have a cup of coffee. Um, is what I say. But no, what fantastic morning. What time is it? It's 12 o'clock, so I've been here four hours, and I've seen the red deer, stags, hen, male hen harrier, never seen one of those before. Absolutely phenomenal, beautiful to see. Um, seals, otters. Uh, I think there was a buzzard up here. I'm not sure if it was a buzzard or peregrine falcon. It was a bit far away to, to identify properly. I need to have a look at the back of the camera just to check. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful here. Anyway, I'm gonna have a biscuit and a coffee. And before I do that, I just wanna turn the camera around and just show you this view. Welcome to Tuesday morning, everyone. Well, it's a little bit rougher uh, today. Um, forecast isn't good. Um, heavy showers, strong winds. Um, that being said, you've still got to get out there, whatever the weather. So my plan today is not the deer. Um, what I'm hoping for is in the next hour or two, the as the tide goes out, the seals are going to come in onto these round rocks here behind me. And what I'm hoping for is for the seals to come up, rest on the rocks, and then the waves to come up and, and sort of splash onto the rock as the seal is resting. Um, that's the idea. Whether I got the shot, I have no idea. Um, we're just gonna have to wait and see and choose the right rock, I suppose. Um, but other than that, there's a few buzzards uh, flying around here. There's obviously a nest of buzzards in the area. And I'm going to be going down to the otter place as well. In fact, the otter, in fact, it's that way. The otters um, were last seen over there yesterday. So I'm hoping that uh, I may come across. And also any seabirds. Um, I've seen a few oyster catchers, um, some cormorants and things like that. Uh, tried to photograph some gannets this morning diving. Um, but they are around, so hopefully I'll be able to get a few shots of them as well. Um, but here, yeah, just enjoy the day, try dodge the showers, um, and get some wonderful photos and video for you guys. So stay with me as I make my way through Tuesday here on the Isle of Arran. Okay, so I've been sat down here now for a good hour, I'd say. Um, I got my tides wrong before. I thought the tide was on its way out. The tide was on its way in. Um, I need to look at the tidal app. Um, but no, so I've come down. I've been photographing some shags down here. I think the shags, cormorants. I need to identify that one. I always get the two mixed up. I think the cormorants actually these. Definitely cool, yeah, cormorants. Uh, photographing these cormorants down here on this rock. And as the tide's coming in, the water is splashing over the rocks behind them and coming up next to them and sort of what I've been doing is trying to do it at around a thirtieth of a second so that you get the motion of the water while the bird is still in the frame. Um, and it's just a bit, a bit creative, a bit unique. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my trigger release with me. I've left it back at the apartment where I'm staying. Um, well, I may come down and try and do it again, but I think I've got some cracking shots and also some high-speed video 
Um, so you've got the slow motion of the water crashing over the rock. That's beautiful. Um, that's such a simple thing to do as well. And it's not just that, it's just nice relaxing. Not a single person around. Just you, the camera and the wildlife. What can be better than that? You know, you might see uh, my new design on my tripod. So a bit of paint work going on here just to camo it up a bit. But anyway, I'm going to pack up now and head down the coast and see if we can see any other wildlife. So let's get in the car and take a trip. Okay, so I'm down here on the beach. <laughs> Just photographing the... Um, the goosanders. Um, basically, I've seen them swing up and down and, and back and forth, but whenever you sort of get close to them, they um, they just dive and disappear and they can dive down and, and end up a good 10, 15, 20 meters down, down the coast. So I've been laying here for about half an hour um, and they're just bobbing up and down in the waves. So you're trying to get them as they come up and the waves dip down. Um, but doing slow, slow motion video, really, really nice. I'm thoroughly enjoying just the the, the look of it and the way the waves are bobbing up and down. But they certainly do get about. To remind me very much of a crested grebe in the sort of appearance that they've got. But oh, just nice, nice to be sat on the edge of uh, the shore here, photographing the seabirds. Well, what a fantastic day I've had today here on the Isle of Arran. Um, it's turned out a bit great. It wasn't as bad as the forecast. We did have patches of uh, blue sky throughout the afternoon. It's now 10 to three and it's starting to rain. So for the last probably two hours, I've been down here on the beach um, photographing the gray seals. Um, I'm not sure if you can see them. There's three just on the rocks here behind me 
So yeah, so a couple came up, um, sat on the rocks, and then obviously you've got people coming back with past with mobile phones and they're walking down onto the beach, making silly seal noises and stuff like that. It scared them away. Um, anyway, the rain seemed to have got rid of everybody. I stuck it out, stayed on the beach for another hour in the anticipation and hoping that the seals would return, which they did, and managed to get some lovely photos of these three chaps sat here behind me. So yeah, so it's been a good day. Tomorrow, Wednesday, um, it's supposed to be a really nice weather day, much better. So I'm gonna do an early start. I'm gonna get out up onto the hill at uh, first light. Um, it's about an hour's walk up to the top of the hill and I'm gonna spend the whole day just hiding in the um, wet, soggy bog grass, hoping to get some lovely pictures of the red stags and the deer. So until tomorrow morning, I will see you later. Welcome to Wednesday, day three here on the Isle of Arran. Um, weather's forecast for today is for sunshine and clouds, the odd little shower, but nothing too heavy, hopefully. Um, so today I'm going up this hill here behind me, well, this side here, all the way along, probably a couple of miles. Um, hopefully photograph the red stag and the roaring this morning is they're just everywhere. I mean, I can see red stags down on the field. I bumped into a doe on the way up this morning. Um, got a couple of pictures of that. Um, the only thing I want to be cautious of today is coming between a male stag and his females. Um, just because I don't want to get in between them and cause any disruption or distress. Another thing is I don't want to um, surprise the deer, I don't want to come up and, and startle them. Um, one or two things are going to happen, either they're going to run away or the male can turn around and attack. And with their antlers and the size of these deer, I wouldn't stand a chance. So I've got to be really careful today, um, but also very quiet in my approach, but keeping a, a relatively good distance as well. Um, but I'm sure to encounter a few deer up here. I've seen them along this hillside for the last three days. So fingers crossed, gonna have a great day and let's go photograph some deer. And if the gods are with us, we'll see a couple having a rut. Onwards and upwards. Probably about 10, 11 maximum temperature today and there's a, a very strong wind as well, but it's nice, it's refreshing. Um, and one of the things I think I may do today is use my GoPro a bit more. Um, I've used it in the past a couple of times, but I think I'm gonna use it more today. So if you see sort of different footage to normal, it's because I'm using the GoPro. I'm gonna probably mount it on my head at some times when I'm walking. Um, and it's just easier and quicker than getting the tripod and the camera out. Um, so yeah, let's carry on.
Right, okay, so it's now, what time are we at? Half past 10 in the morning. Um, spent a good, uh, what, two and a half hours up here trying to uh, photograph the red deer. Um, got close, not too close. Um, got a couple of decent pictures, nothing special. One of my favorite pictures that I took was of a herd of female deer on this ridge line here uh, with a rainbow behind them. So I'll put that up now so you can see that absolutely lovely picture full of color with the female deer behind in front of the rainbow. Um, so the weather's been a bit unclear, it's been coming in and out, it's just had a heavy shower um, and there's not a lot of deer around. I mean, there are some up on the hills over here, but I have the option of doing a shoreline walk now, which is gonna take me down this uh, these cliffs here behind me and then all the way around back to the car which is going to be I don't know it looks like it's at least two or three miles um, and it's a good opportunity to get down to the shore uh, and photograph any wildlife down there so there's not going to be many people if anybody down that way I would imagine um, it's not a very popular route it's a long route and we're not in season so I very much doubt I will meet anybody so I'm hoping that the wildlife will be there for me to take advantage of and get some good pictures. So I'm going to have a quick bite to eat before I head down and get down to the shoreline. And anyway, there may even be some deer down there. So let's take a walk and get down to the sea. Well, it looks like a quick shower is about to come in. I'd say if you're going to uh, stay in a nice cottage in the middle of nowhere, and that down there certainly is in the middle of nowhere. What a place to stay. I wouldn't like to carry all my luggage though. I'd have to do it uh, an airdrop. And we've got a very old remnants of a perhaps a building here or a croft. Okay guys well made it back to La Carranza. I'm here just in the harbour now. Um, Beautiful weather, it's turned out nice. Had some pretty hefty showers this morning, I have to say. Um, what's the time? It's now half past one. So yeah, my looking at uh, the route, thinking it's a few miles, won't take me long. Turned out to be just over a seven mile walk. So yeah, a little bit longer than I uh, anticipated. Um, but fantastic walk. Didn't really see any wildlife. A um, few gannets and cormorants, and that was about it, really. It was a very tough path. I'll, I'll give you that. It was literally just boulders all up and down all, all the way. Um, on a sad note, half an hour ago, I came across a hind that was stuck between two big boulders down on the shore. Um, clearly injured, still bleeding. Wasn't gonna get out. Very distressing, very upsetting to see. Um, so I'm gonna put that clip up with my response to that scene. You can obviously skip that and just move on to probably about a minute forward. Um, but yes, here's my reaction. Here's the poor hind. So unfortunately, we have a female deer stuck in the rocks, obviously fallen or just got trapped. She looks injured. There's no way she's going to get out. My heart goes out to her. It really does. So sorry for you. If I had a gun, I would shoot you. Just to end it. Because there's no way you're getting out of there. Yeah, you're pretty well stuck in there, love. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is going to go back to the car. I've got some um, sponsorship work to do for this video, so I need to get that done. It's going to take me about an hour to do that. And then I'm going to head around the coast and 
go on to otter watch this evening hopefully get down with some otters i have seen three locations now with the otters so fingers crossed that i'll be able to uh, at least spend a little bit of time videoing and photographing one of the otters and if it doesn't happen well that's it i've got two more days and still plenty to go at so i'll see you down by the shore this evening okay so today's sponsor is existend and they have kindly sent me a two terabyte ssd portable hard drive so the hard drive that they brought is the rugged Exascend 2 terabyte it's the explorer and when i'm out on trips like this my images and video are of the utmost importance um, so i want to be able to ensure that i'm backing these up to a solid reliable uh, device putting them just on your laptop is fine um, but I also like to ensure that I've got something to back up those um, photos and video onto. So when I get home, I can just plug in the portable hard drive and away I go. So what I'm going to do is I've got my Extend memory card. And I'm just going to transfer these files across onto the computer and onto the hard drive. So this is the actual hard drive itself. Um, got a rubber coating on it. It is um, very, very well built. And the cable it comes with, so it's a USB-C connection. And it also comes with a USB 3 end or a USB 3 connector. Um, so I'm just gonna plug this in and start transferring that uh, 787 photos and video across now onto my SSD directly from the memory card. So that's gonna take a couple of minutes to do that. So while that's transferring those 30 gigabytes of data across onto the hard drive, I'll give you a few specs of the, um, the hard drive. So some of the key features are a USB-C powered and transfer rate of up to 20 gigabytes per second, five-year warranty and factory data recovery service, advanced technologies such as RAID and ECC, supercruise and conformal coating, 3D TL flash memory for high performance and endurance, transfer capability of up to 20 gigabytes when using USB Type-C, and a maximum sequential read-write speed of 1,800 megabytes to 1,750 megabytes. So you may be quite asking, what is conformal coating? Well, the conformal coating is a environment, is a treatment against environmental threats by applying a water and particle resistant coating to the actual circuit board and the embedded components, therefore protect, protecting the actual inner workings of the, the hard drive itself. So that's just about done. So that was pretty quick for 30 gigabytes of data. Okay, all that's done. All my files and video are stored on this really rugged, tough SSD drive that I can now, with confidence, know that my photos and video are backed up. I can now go on my way and start taking more wildlife photos. Okay, so I've come down to the beach. Um, I think it's a bit rough to try and find otters today. Uh, there's just too much motion on, on the water to see anything, to be honest with you. I was looking for the, uh, the goose anders, but uh, even they're a bit hard to spot, bobbing up and down in the water. I do have some cormorants and uh, some gannets. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna settle down on the uh, coast here so I've got my stand with me so I'm going to be using this today as the rain shower comes in typical so yeah so this is just a nice little platform for me to be able to use and it just enables me to swing around up and down 
Um, I was looking at these online, um, not hard to quite, well, I didn't know where to find them uh, or to buy them. Uh, sort of came across them and they were about £120 to buy. So I thought there must be a better way um, or a cheaper way to do this. So I made my own. So what I've done is I purchased a Frisbee and a small rig mounting um, plate and all I've done is drilled a hole through the frisbee and then epoxied the mount and screwed the mount to the base of the frisbee covered it in some um, camo tape just because with it being plastic it makes that sort of noise um, when you're grinding on, on stones etc um, by having the sort of like a canvas bottom um, it's going to prevent any noise from from coming off the, the plastic frisbee and I think the whole thing cost me something like £20. So it's a no-brainer, really. And it works really, really well. I uh, just sit down on the ground and then I can literally, once it's fine, screw it. Once I'm on the ground, I can then literally pan around quite happily without any movement on the base. So yeah. Okay everyone, well thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a fantastic week here on the Isle of Arran. A very wild experience. Um, it's a very wild place. Hard to photograph the wildlife this time of year, especially the red deer. Um, I know it's the rutting season. Unfortunately I didn't see any uh, of the stags in rut. But um, did see plenty of deer and it was nice to see. Um, unfortunately, because of the time of year, um, September to February, the, uh, the deers are hunted. So they know this and they just take to the hills. As soon as they see a human, um, they're off. Absolutely, just don't hang around, up the hill and, and they're off. Um, as far as other wildlife goes, really uh, chuffed to see a hen harrier seen it a few times now uh, managed to photograph it once though um, i am going to head up tomorrow morning my ferry's not till one o'clock tomorrow afternoon so i've given myself a morning 
just to go back up onto the tops in the morning, hopefully be a bit better than it was this morning, which was torrential rain. Um, and I get lucky with the hen harrier or some red deer. But anyway, what a fantastic week. Plenty of wildlife, dolphins, goosanders, um, gannets, red deer, red squirrels. Um, what did we see this morning? It was the red wings and missile thrush, I think it was. I'm really not too sure. I think there were three different uh, species of bird in, in the trees eating these berries because um, they were quite different. Um, one with a red wing, some with no red wing but speckled chest and then others with speckled chest but more yellow. So I haven't a clue. Um, I'm going to look it up but if I haven't managed to find the names of the birds, put them in the comments below. Um, so yeah, what a week and thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, please don't forget to like this video and I've no idea where I'm going next or what I'm up to. Um, I know I'm going down to photograph the seal pups soon and then off to the Cairngorms but until then thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next trip.